And we begin this hour with overnight developments. Boeing Starliner spacecraft returns to Earth without its crew, who remains stranded at the International Space Station. Here is the moment the capsule touched down here on Earth. This is such a cool shot. Of course, you see the parachutes. The spacecraft made a soft landing in White Sands Space Harbor, New Mexico. This happened just after midnight. Now, News Nation's Xavier Walton has been following the story very closely. He's joining us live from Cape Canaveral with a picture-perfect background behind him. Xavier, how did we get here? Uh, Anna, good morning. We got here after months and months of waiting. But how cool is that? Us space geeks were watching last night after midnight. Like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And then it touches down nice and soft. And this after more than 90 days of the Starliner waiting up there on the ISS, leaving here June 5th. It was only supposed to be gone for eight days, and here we are. But let's get back to that video in case you missed it. Um, it lasted roughly six hours. That's how long the journey was. But that moment of impact, so, I mean, that's just a really cool thing to see, you know, for a lack of better words. Um, NASA calling it a textbook touchdown. Um, but this, after the months of waiting, those three parachutes helping also with an airbag as well, you know, Starliner slowly descending on the dark desert of White Sands, New Mexico, after 90 days in space. It was a great day for the commercial crew program and also for Boeing. Congratulations to that team who worked so hard. It's great to have the spacecraft back. So he used the word great there. Yes, it is great. Yes, it was a successful landing. Two things missing, very, very important things missing. Um, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, the two astronauts on June 5th that were on the Starliner that went up from here at Cape Canaveral up to the ISS, they did not make the journey back down. And we love getting updates on those two, but I have to ask, Xavier, did NASA actually stand by its decision to leave the, those two up there till next year? And Hannah, that was one of the questions that was asked at the press conference after that successful um, touchdown. And, and NASA saying, yes, we made the right decision. And why? Because at that time when they made that ultimate decision, it was Bill Nelson, um, they had the data and they went by the data and they said, hey, it's just not worth the risk. It's easy to play Monday morning quarterback. I, I know football season and I know it's only Saturday, but it's easy after a successful landing. But still, NASA saying we stand by it now. Um, you know what, Sonny and Bush here are going to have to wait until February 2025. Uh, th their ride, though, is going to be leaving this month. Uh, SpaceX Crew Dragon uh, capsule is going to be leaving here at Cape Canaveral. Uh, September 24th is the launch date, and we've already got our credentials to be right here. All right, looking forward to it. Yeah, we're anxious to get those two back here on Earth. Xavier Walton, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.